Today, Google has released the Palm E AI, its latest AI technology that supersedes ChatGPT and even Bing AI because of a number of reasons, a number of features that it can do much better than all of these. So in my curiosity to get to understand what is this Palm E that Google has released and what are some of the key features and what it can do, what kind of tasks it can do, what kind of exceptions does it have when compared to other AI tools? I run into my Google, uh, Bing AI, which is the latest artificial intelligence that can give you the latest happening on the digital world. So I quickly run to the Bing AI and I ask it, I prompt it with some number of questions. For example, I quickly ask it, tell me about Google, Google Palm E that has just been released. Tell me about Google Palm E. This is my first prompt. And he said, yes, I'm, I can give you Google Palm E is a robot brain that can make that can take commands from natural language and perform various tasks without retraining. It is based on Google's existing large language model called the PALM. OK, but it also uses sensory information and robotic control. It can control different robots in simulations and in the real world as well as answer visual questions and write text. So it can do all of this, okay? Then I further I try to prompt it more to find out how does Palm E work actually. They say Palm E works by injecting observations into a pre-trained language model. It transforms sensor data such as images into, representation, into a representation that is compatible to how words are processed by a language model. This way, it can understand natural language command and generate actions for robots. So it can actually perform different kind of commands in action that is required of it. So I, I, I further prompted to say, what are, what are some of the tasks that Palm E can actually perform? And he said, Palm E can perform various tasks that involve robotics, vision and language. For example, it can control robots to grab objects. So in this video, it is shown how the Palm E was asked to go and pick an object in the kitchen and look at how it does it. Okay, and then it can bring tools. It can clean up messes anywhere. It can also describe images. This is one of the most powerful ones. It can describe images, detect objects, or classify scenes. It can classify by mere looking at images, it can detect objects, it can describe the images and classify scenes. Okay, moreover, it can quote poetry, solve math equations, or generate codes. It can do all this. And this is actually marvelous. I'm really, really marveled by this. And then I further prompted to ask some questions like how is Palm E different from other AI tools? And this is the results that marveled me the more. He said Palm E is an embodied, embodied multimodal language model developed by Google AI. It can control robots, answer visual questions and write text using natural language commands. It is different from other AI tools, maybe like ChatGPT and even Bing AI itself because it can perform multiple tasks across robots, vision and language domains with high accuracy. It can do all this with high degree of accuracy. So I asked further, can you give me an example of Palm E writing text? Can you give me an example? So it will say, yeah, sure, I can give you. Sure, here's an example of Palm E writing text to control a robot. Input, bring me a bag of chips from the kitchen. Just like this example of the robot taking a bag of chips in the kitchen. So look, look at the output, the possible output. Output, okay, I will bring you a bag of chips from the kitchen. Here is my plan. Go to the kitchen door and open it. Turn left and go to the second drawer on the right. Pull the drawer handle and open it. Look for a bag of chips inside the drawer. Pick up the bag of chips with my gripper. Close the drawer and turn right. Go back to the kitchen door and close it. Return to your location and give you the bag of chips. You see, this is super powerful. And this is demonstrated exactly in this video. Okay, so you can see it. So I further prompted to find out what are some of the key uh, visual things that you can do. Take a look at this image from the left. Uh, given this image, what will be the what will the robot do next? 
this is just an illustration from this image what will the robot do next and take a look at the answer provided by palm e you say it's going to fall all right so take a look at this second image it's just an, a kitchen with utensils and some properties some some things from the kitchen you say robot i am a robot operating in a kitchen given this image okay when a human asks me to do a task i will respond with the sequence of actions i will do to accomplish the task with only the items i see now this is the description what uh, palm e can do and now we ask it this question showing it this image so take a look at the response use all of these ingredients you see to make a cake batter now take a look at what this palm e now responds the first thing is say crack the egg crack egg two put egg in bowl three put flour in in the bowl so let's take a look four put sugar in the bowl five mix six put in pan seven bake eight eat and nine clean up and i think this is fantastic this is exactly correct what is happening so it has given you based on what it has seen here it has given you the process on how to make uh, how to make the cake so this is from just the image part of it okay take a look at this image given this image What's in the image? So you just ask this question and it replies, answer in emojis. And look at what it answered. Exactly what is in the image, it answered in emojis. I think this is super crazy and this is super powerful. Now take a look at this image also, image one and image two. Now photo, photo one is image one, photo two is image two. Now the question is what is in photo one? But not in photo two just take a look at this from just mere image and how it scans everything and tell you what is in photo one and in, not in photo two let's think step by step and explain now by mere looking the robot now is now telling you that photo one has sunglasses on top of the folded clothes photo two does not have sunglasses on top of the folded clothes therefore sunglasses are in photo one but not in photo two just by mere looking it just detect that sunglasses is the difference in what is in these two so you can see how powerful and exceptional this palm e is let's take a look at the next image given this image question can can i go down this street on a bicycle that's the question can i go down this street on a bicycle yes or no let's think step by step so the question is yes or no you're just looking at this street can I go down the street with a bicycle? And the palm E quickly scans and tell you, do not enter. Do not enter except bicycles. Do not enter except bicycles. Three, do not enter except bicycles. Yes. So yes. You see, the question is, is tricky. Do not enter except bicycles. So it means if you are a bicycle, if you have, if you have a bicycle, that means you can enter but if you don't have a bicycle do not enter so it's strictly allowed with a bicycle so the question is can you answer yes or no and he said yes and that is clearly correct so this is how fantastic and powerful this palm e is worth trying worth celebrating i think we should start getting prepared to in a, to be in a world that is being completely ruled by ai with the latest advancements especially in google and microsoft with the Bing AI, a lot is changing. The chat GPT is even, is even overpowered by the coming of the Bing AI as well as the Palm E. So let's take a look at another image. Take a look at this. Okay, given this image, how many championship rings did the player on the left win in his career? Let's think step by step. So look at the response. Okay, take a look at the response. So it said Kobe Bryant is on the left. It quickly detect that. Let's take it step by step. So step one is Kobe Bryant is on the left. It quickly detects face okay it has the power to do face detection and it quickly detects that this is kobe Bryant. and the second question is kobe Bryant has won five championships ring championship rings see how powerful you quickly detect this is kobe Bryant and just tell how many championship he rings he has won five championship you see the power of ai okay the power of the robots now take, let's take a look at another one All right take a look at this image given this image if a robot wants to be useful here, what steps should it take? That's the question. What should have steps to, should, should it take to be useful in this particular location? Now take a look at the response. It can clean the table, it can pick up the trash, and it can pick up chairs, wipe chairs, and put chairs down. These are some of the things that robot can do to stay useful here. By mere scanning, it quickly detects that the, the, the table is dirty and it can clean up. It can carry the chairs, it can pick up the chairs, it can pick up the trash, it can wipe the chairs, and it can 
put the chairs down so these are some of the things you can do by mere looking you know exactly what you can do this is super insane now let's take a look at this one by mere looking at this donut okay what flavor is is the pink donut on the right the pink donut on the right what flavor is it on it okay so so this is the palm okay this is the question and then this is answer strawberry you quickly answer this is strawberry what flavor is the donut okay the question is what flavor is the donut let's take a look what flavor is the donut on the strawberry a hey, stro um, this is the question and then this is the answer strawberry you quickly detect that this is strawberry isn't this insane <laughs> this is strawberry correctly this is strawberry according to the writing over here okay so this is strawberry so the power for for this palm e is just an, another level this is next level because when you compare chat gpt and bing ai and other ai tools they use digital things to navigate and show things around but this palm e is showing a different level of intelligence this is super power artificial intelligence okay it's taking intelligence to another level completely so let's take a look at the last one okay take a look at this question this images okay photo one at 10 30 a.m image photo two at 12 45 p.m image three in image two okay this is image two photo three at 3 45 p.m okay now the question is i forgot i forget what did i have for lunch and what time was it i forget what did i have for lunch and what time was it so look at just by me looking at the image uh, let's think step by step this is the answer now the first step is you had a sandwich for lunch it quickly detects and tells you that you had a sandwich for lunch and now let's look at the second response and it was 12 45 pm exactly and that's the answer and that's very very correct i think with the latest advancement in the coming of the palm e a lot is bound to happen a lot is bound to change in our world especially with the with other ai tools like the chat gpt the bing ai that are struggling and struggling to change the technological advancement and technological world and artificial intelligence world a lot a lot of things are bound to happen in the nearest future let's stay tuned and start getting prepared to work collaboratively with some of these tools because my idea is we cannot be overpowered by the robots we can only learn to collaborate and work with together with them okay so we should just start making ourselves relevant to start learning things that they can do and we can work together with they are smarter they are they can think faster and they can solve technical problems they can just bear looking by mere looking at things go ahead and infer things give a lot of um, conclusion and, and so on but then we can make ourselves relevant as humans to start finding ways to work with them to make things ex ex exceptionally better because i believe with the human intelligence coupled with artificial intelligence a lot is bound to happen in our world so thank you for watching this video. If you find any value or usefulness in this, please remember to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to always hit the subscribe and notification buttons to stay connected to this channel for more videos like this. So see you around and enjoy the AI inventions. Bye.